What's going on guys? So today we're looking at some really interesting stuff from a knife dealer called Blade City. You can see the logo in the background there. Uh, this is a company that I didn't personally have any experience with at all. I had a bunch of people ask me through Instagram if I've used them before because they saw some really cool stuff. They wanted to order it. Just wanted to know if it was a good site or not. Uh, and I, I told them I never used it before. So after people mentioned this to me, I don't know if it was because it was sent in a message or what, you know how advertising works today, someone's listening in, right? All of a sudden, I started getting a bunch of ads in between all of my, uh, you know, people I follow on Instagram. So I saw Blade City ads all over the place on IG. Uh, so much so that eventually I end up following them just because they have some interesting stuff. So, so long story short, I asked them if I can try out their pen. I wanted to give them some feedback on it. I thought it was a really, really interesting design, uh, which you'll see in a moment here. I will do a separate video with more detail on the pen after I use it. But they sent a couple other very, very interesting things as well. So let's take a look at them. First thing is in the back here. This is called the Viper Tech. All right. And this is an OTF with uh, finger holes, clearly, as you can see. There is a glass breaker on the bottom. All right. It works totally fine as a, an OTF. Uh, it is double edged. It is sharpened. It's a usable edge. I wouldn't say it's razor sharp at all, uh, but it's definitely sharp enough to uh, cut cardboard, things like that. I did try slicing paper you know kind of mixed results just because it has a little bit of a thicker grind uh, especially being double-edged like this you're going from the middle of the blade here down so again we have that kind of wedge effect so even though it is nice and sharp it's a little bit thicker behind the edge there all right so perfectly fine for utilitarian work but all your fine slicing and stuff would be a little bit more difficult plus just by design you kind of have this knuckle stuff in the way as far as utility but clearly you wouldn't get this to be a utilitarian knife anyway it just has the cool factor it's through the roof just one of those things that has a lot of novelty to it. It is fully functional. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's very, very interesting. So speaking of interesting, this is also something that I've never seen before. This is uh, a stiletto style OTF. All right, so it looks like an Italian stiletto, all right, by design, as we know it, but you can see it's a lot thicker. Now, if you're not familiar, the Italian stilettos have a side opening action, okay? So there's a leaf spring that goes up and kind of curves in. And when you push the button, it releases that blade so it can swing out and lock open, okay? And there's a lot of different locking mechanisms for stilettos, but this is the first time I've ever seen an OTF. Now, I think this thing is really, really cool. However, I opened this probably 30 times back and forth already, and I have somewhat of a problem. So opening it and shutting it, and you can see, okay, now it's stuck open. Stuck in the open position. I don't know what's happening internally, but if I pull down, you could actually feel and see and you know hear a very audible click. Now it's back on track, so you can open it. Uh, I first noticed this, there it is again, when it's in the downward position. All right, so opening it downward, it happens pretty much every time. So obviously it's not good that it doesn't function every time, uh, but again, the reason you'd buy something like this is more for the novelty factor, the fun factor, the cool factor, maybe for collecting, as opposed to actually carrying and using anyway. All right, so. You see, I mean, opening and closing fine, but every now and again, it just opens too far. If this does happen to get stuck on you, okay, just like this, uh, because it is sharpened on this edge, uh, you would want to hold it from the back, you know, to pop that back on. Uh, but if you want to be, you know, a little bit safer, you could push this against something that's hard, like this particular plastic case, just a little bit, just so it pops back in. This way your hand's nowhere near that edge, because it does have, you know, a usable cutting edge here. So now we're left with the more interesting things, in my opinion. Uh, so we have this pen here. If you remove this cap and just push up <laughs> on that pocket clip, you can see we have a blade, an OTF. So we're going to talk more about that in the future because I did want to do a separate video on the pen after I got some uh, usage on it. So sorry for the you know kind of tease there. But the last thing here is technically not a knife at all. Uh, this is a dart gun. So <laughs> it's kind of what it sounds like. This quite literally shoots these darts, okay? Now I'm not gonna give a demo in this video because I have nothing safe to shoot at right now. Um, but there's these three darts. And if I zoom in here, go look at the tips here. They're not actually sharpened. However, they're ground enough that with the force of the springs shooting these out, these do penetrate very, very easily. In fact, when I first opened it, I shot it into the box it came with, and the you know, half of the entire dart went through the one edge of the uh, cardboard. It was, it was you know, double-walled cardboard. So there's some very heavy-duty springs in here. 
Uh, this is a safety shield, so you pull back on this, so you're able to actually push down on these buttons. But clearly for storage, you don't want to accidentally hit that. All right, so there's a cap, as well as that little you know, safety shield there. And it does come with three extra darts, so you can see what they look like here. All right, pop one out. So it's flat, you push it down into the body until it reaches this part here with these notches and it kind of clicks in place. And that's pretty much it. And obviously you can push the button to release it. You can check out their website or follow them on uh, Instagram or something if you want to see videos. They break bottles, do all kinds of cool stuff. I'm not sure if I'll eventually do a separate video on this or not, but I think it is awesome. Even though it is not knife related, it's just one of those things that is just really cool. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, I mostly wanted to make this video to ask your opinion and get your feedback on this particular knife dealer. Have you ever ordered from Blade City before? If you have, write your experiences down below in the comment section. Maybe let everyone know what state you're in, about how long it took to, uh, to ship to you, if you're happy with the products, what you thought of the prices, things like that. Uh, I'm always interested in finding new dealers. You know, the more options, the better. Uh, they do sell a ton of different regular name brand knives. You know, all the name brands that everyone's buying anyway. It's just another option to go to and see if they have a good price on it if you're looking to get a new knife. But for me, they stood out because of this novelty stuff. You know, this to me, everything on the table here is a novelty thing. It's not something you're going to carry and use every day. Eventually, all these things will probably break. You know, it's not meant to be used really hard. It's really just to kind of show off and it's fun collectibles. That's how I see this stuff is just really fun collectibles. There's not, you know, obviously a practical reason to have this, uh, but it's just super cool, but it does function. Okay, all the knives here are actually sharp, you know, blade sharp, blade sharp, blade sharp. All right, um, but yeah, I, I thought the novelty factor is awesome. You guys know that I love weird, unique stuff and clearly they have a lot of weird, unique stuff. So anyway, let me know your experiences down below. I appreciate the feedback. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay tuned. I will do a separate video on this pen down the road. I do want to use it a little bit. Uh, not only the actual knife I want to use, but the, the pen itself and just, you know, see what I think of it. So eventually I'll do a review on that. But that's it. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.